going on a little adventure. Wave to the camera. <laughs> Still trekking along here. So beautiful. So we made it to the first lookout. There's Chase. So I guess we go Drop it down. down. Up, over there. Yeah. Down. I think we're gonna camp somewhere, somewhere in that vicinity over there. Try to find water. Made a little bridge to cross. Good evening, Jason and Ashley. If you're new to the channel, we have talked about going on an elk hunt this year. So what we're doing right now is a first trip of backpacking. We we're, want... we're testing out new gear. Yes, we are and... eager to train and test out our gear. So we hiked in here for about three hours, got to this spot, the sun is gonna set soon. So we're gonna set up our gear and take you through all that. One thing we're not gonna have in our background on our elk hunt is this. <laughs> <laughs> the north shores of Lake Superior. Yeah. We live in a beautiful place. Water, uh, water is not gonna be as handy as it is here. No. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, we're gonna set up our tent, test out some gear. Yeah. And cook, cook us a meal tonight. It's supposed to go to two degrees celsius tonight we're pretty chilly pretty chilly <laughs> so yeah we're gonna see how our sleeping bags do both of us in the little summer tent that we got so we'll check it out see how it is that's right when so here we go you'll see more <laughs> <laughs> so we're both rolling with mystery ranch bags What's yours? The med calf? Mine's the med calf. What's mine? Yours is the bear, so bear tooth? Bear tooth. The bear tooth 80. A little bit bigger. This seems to hold quite a bit of gear too. Just going to be adding a couple little videos in here. Little extras talking about the bag. This is Chase's bag, but we did order two of these Nalgene or water bottle holders. They're big enough to hold a Nalgene bottle, which is cool. So we put those on our bag, as you can see in the video. And then we also have these little side pockets for extra storage, phones, batteries, headlamps, anything you want close by. If we happen to be so lucky to harvest an elk on our trip, this bag detaches from the frame. It has this right here, which is the meat shelf. And it kind of creates this little scoop at the bottom. You debone your elk, quarter it, shove it between the frame and the bag, and then cinch everything tight. So hopefully we're lucky enough to uh, test that out. Also, when we purchased our bags, we got these rain fly covers. We haven't had to use them yet which is a good thing because we've been out in nice weather. We did not bring this on our last trip, but we will be bringing this when we go on our elk hunt. We have the meat bags. These ones are from Born and Raised. I uh, haven't tested them yet, but they have zippers. So apparently they're quite easy to use. Plop your quarter in there, fold it over and zip it up. So those will be coming on our trip with us. So next we are gonna set up our tent. <laughs> so this is the cap for the bag. I just yep. stuck it inside. Mine's right there. So We've we haven't tent. got a footprint for footprint. our tent yet. So, so we brought that for now. Old handy dandy. Since making this video, we did get this tarp on Amazon for $20. And we're going to use this as our footprint. It's a heck of a lot cheaper 
and we tested it and it does a trick so that's cool we also purchased this aqua quest heavy duty lightweight tarp so if it rains on our trip we'll have a place to stay and since we are in not a very optimal camping site you would say <laughs> we're gonna set up right here it's the flattest ground We got the Marmot Tungsten Ultralight two-person tent. I think it's about three pounds, if I'm not correct. I'll put that on the screen right now. But yeah, we're just gonna get that set up. Ta-da! Tent <laughs> is up. <laughs> Looking good. It's not the prettiest thing. Well, it's not the nicest setup right now. Good. I like the color though. We're going with like the Green Ninja vibe and our tent matches. So next, we have our oh, that's what that is. air mattress. We're gonna go with our sleeping system. We got the Rapide. This is a double insulated 40 by 72 inch air mattress. Where's the pump? Yeah. And we got a cute little lightweight pump to blow it up with. I do believe this is also about three pounds. If not, I will correct that on the screen below. Can I see the pump? Yeah. So do we want that pump, that, that valve by our head? Yeah. Eh? Sure. It's easier to pump. Okay. You pass it. And this is the pump. So this is the flex tail gear, tiny pump. It is super cute. We tested this at home. It gave us about four fills on our big air mattress. So if you have a single air mattress, probably get about six, I would imagine. Also. Eight? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to test that out. It has a little um, handle <laughs> because it's also a light for your tent. So you can hang it in your tent and have a little light at night. Do you remember which one we use? So, this one. This is that one? Oh wait. So that's pumping up right now, but the air mattress also comes with this... Blow-up bag. Blow-up bag. So you actually put this on and then you like... Fill it with air. Roll it up. And squeeze the air, the air, the air the in. So it takes a little longer. So we decided to go with the tiny pump. But that also works, especially if the battery dies. If you're or, out for extended days. Or you stuff on it. Or that, yeah. It's always good to have a plan B with an air mattress. You don't want to mess around because sleeping on the ground isn't fun. The next thing in our sleep system is our sleeping bags. We got the uh, Nemo it. Disco 30. We got his and hers. So they zip together to make one big bag. That was one stipulation that Chase made me look for when purchasing these bags. We have tested these bags out already for our winter camping excursions for and in, we are in love. But we only use them in individual uses. Yes. So this is the first time that we have zipped them together. And I get to snuggle. <laughs> yes. He's excited. And pillows. Right. What are these? These are Thermarest pillows, I believe. So I think these are the large size and they they fold down to they this. They fold down to small. They are a little bit bigger than an inflatable, but we find that these are just comfier. You don't really want to mess with your sleep in the backcountry, I don't think. You're really going to need it. Who wants to blow it? Hello. <laughs> well, a lot of people use them. We just chose not to. Yeah. So Color-coded zippers, so the female version has the pink, the male version has the blue. Chase got the regular length, I got the large, and they are perfect. They are down-filled and really cozy and warm. They heat up really quick. Very nice. And then, yeah, zip down the center. We both crawl in. in. Looks good. Here's our pillows. And... Ashley's is 
Fold it up. Fold it up. We also know because she put an A on hers. Yeah. And then they're foam, so you just gotta give them a minute or two. And they loft up nicely. So, and then the, these bags also have a spot that you could put your pillow in. You could put your pillow in. I don't care for it. Yeah, much. I've tried it both ways, and I think I just like it loose. They are not a full mummy bag. They're called the spoon bag. So if you're a side sleeper, apparently they're great. They just give you a little bit more room. And one nice thing is this little flap here when it's really cold. It's just like a, it's like you're in a down, like a, you have a comforter around your face. It's awesome. Because we slept in, I think the coldest we slept in was what, minus 35, but we had a heater in the tent in the winter. Yeah. But. So we're testing them out without a heater tonight, so it'll yeah. be a true test. No heater. In a summer tent that weighs as much as a piece of paper. Next off. So I did not mention the name of the jet boil that we decided to go with. This is the Mini Mo. We decided to go with this one because the pot was big enough to boil water for the both of us at one time. And it's pretty compact. The only thing that doesn't fit in here is the fuel. So you have to pack that separate. So we got the base on, then this is the burner. Ours ignites, eh? It has an igniter. Um, I believe so. How do you start? How do you or maybe not. Maybe this oh, is Oh yeah, right it. here. Oh. There, there we go. are. Yes, ours ha comes with the igniter. And it also comes with this, where you can put a small pot on. Or a pan. Or a pan. But we won't be using that tonight, because we're just boiling water. Has a lid, so you could yeah. strain if you're boiling noodles in there. And then it comes with this. Or you could drink out of it. Yeah, coffee, I guess. And it comes with this cup here. Does it have you measurements could... on it? Uh, I, thought I thought it did. No, it doesn't. So it's actually, oops. this is actually just a protector for the bottom. Oh yeah, it does. It's also a cup. Oh yeah. yeah. It has the measurements on the side. So in boiling water, you could 300 mils measure. You could actually yeah, use it. But it's pretty compact. Not the most compact system, but it's what we're going to roll with for now. We're going to test out and then the exciting part. What's that? The food. Are we there yet? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> See Sorry. what else we got. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's do it. Before we get to dinner, um, we bought the Black Diamond. I think this is the 400 lumen. It's pretty bright. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I like it so far. Maybe we'll try a rechargeable one next time. And then we have the Black Diamond checking poles with the cork. They've been good. They help along the way when packing heavy loads. Also, what we didn't bring today because we packed in water was our Sawyer squeeze. We have to test that eventually. This was the water filtration system that I talked about in the video. The Sawyer squeeze. We still haven't field tested it, but hopefully soon. We also got these, which we'll call dirty water bags. Um, the Sawyer Squeeze does fit on the end of these. So you fill them with your river, lake water, whatever water you find and filter through the Sawyer Squeeze. And what else didn't we bring? There's a few other accessories that we didn't bring, but we'll talk about that later. We're obviously going to have to make a medical kit. We bring the Garmin inReach. Extra batteries and a battery bank with all your charging cords that you're going to need. Um, some peri cord and the knives and anything you're going to need to butcher an animal. 
We got our wind detector, some fresh lighters. And then when we get to the States, we're gonna have to pick up some bear spray. What's not shown here is my bow and range finder, but that obviously has to come. I'm sure there's a couple of other things that we'll be packing along the way. The goal is to keep it light though. We did bring our, how do you say that? Catadine water filter, but that's not the one that we're gonna, gonna be, be bringing. using. For our elk hunt, we got a Sawyer squeeze. But yeah, it's getting dark, so I'm probably going to put this on and we'll start cooking supper. Also, this was in the video, which we never talked about. But this is a super lightweight pad that we're going to use to sit on. It's actually quite comfortable. Is that it? Is that all we have? What else do you have, Chase? We got... Oh, yeah. Okay, here comes the good stuff. <laughs> we bought little, little bit, little bit dry bags. But to hold all our goodies. All our goodies. So, we made our own... Ooh, that's wet. Well, where's your seat? <laughs> so... We got all kinds of goodies. We got beef barley soup, coffee. We got granola banana with milk. So this is gonna be like basically like a cereal for the morning. Add water. Add water. We have olive oil in a container. We have shepherd's pie. This is... Teamed up with another baggie. Yeah. We're gonna rehydrate the shepherd's pie and then put the mashed potatoes on top. Yeah, so this is shepherd's pie at the base, and then this is the potato topping. What else do we got here? We got tuna, tuna mac and cheese. Tuna mac and cheese. So it says add fat. So that could be our olive oil. We got oatmeal with the bananas, strawberries, blueberries, blueberries, chia seeds. And walnuts. So we'll try that in the morning too. Oh, meatballs and potato and gravy. So Ashley rolled over 400. <laughs> little tiny, tiny meatballs, little meatballs. For the dehydrator. For the dehydrator one day. And can't go anywhere without Some dark, chocolate. Dark chocolate. And then we were gonna try this out, bone broth. Try it out, see what it's about. Good for your electrolytes. But all that fit in our dry bag. Um, these are just single serving meals. So we're gonna cook two tonight and then split them. But how much did all that food weigh? So we had two, two breakfasts, two suppers, and two lunches, and it weighed four pounds. And we also had two really delicious bars in there that we already ate oh, yeah, on the hike in. Good. So all that was four pounds, so not bad. The bars are probably the heaviest thing that we already ate, so. Tomorrow's gonna be easy breezy packing out of here. Yeah. Our packs actually weren't all that bad for all this gear. Mine weighed in at 30. Mine and was 34 pounds or something. Yeah, so not bad at all. It was a good pack in so, minus my knee. Yeah, actually, <laughs> knee. My knee sucks. Again. Unfortunately, if I don't get that resolved, I probably won't be going, but I'm gonna stay positive. Got four months to work out the kinks. Oh, sad face. So, <laughs> the question. Now, what are we gonna try? What do you want to try? Oh, we also brought, I brought my Burks and Crocs in the background there. Crocs. Nice to get out of your boots. Ashley just got these things, they're light. They are late. Birkenstocks. You should order a pair for yourself. I don't know. I don't know about these. They come in wider. Um, yeah, I like my Crocs though. All right. So we're going to decide what we're going to eat and then we'll tune back in. The chase is filling. <coughs> Just a few with water. We're going to be here a while. By the looks of it. So we learned one thing already. Yeah. 
This is going to be annoying. <laughs> we'll have to think of something else. So we have our food cozies. We have a separate video on how we made these. So if you want to check that out, just head back in the videos on our channel and you can see. And we also got our extra long spoons. Hard to do everything with one hand. Titanium spoons too, we got these on Amazon. They weren't too expensive, but you want a longer spoon to be able to reach in the bags so your hands don't get dirty. Looking a little lopsided there. Another thing that we had that we didn't talk about was our bladder. That just fits in the back of the sack here. It was in the video. As you could see, Chase was using it to fill up our jet boil. So for tonight, we decided on the tuna mac and cheese. And the shepherd's pie. Should be interesting. We'll give you a review once we know how they taste. We got our meals in the bag. Leave them for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna test them out. The, um, this cup was enough water to rehydrate all three bags. So the potatoes, the shepherd pie mix, and the tuna. After that rehydrates, we're probably just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So when you're on trail, you need to add some extra cows. Right, Chase? You know it. How do you think the meals are going to taste? <laughs> I think they're going to taste fine. All right. I don't see why they wouldn't taste good. I'm hungry. I'm sure they're going to taste... <laughs> yeah, we're not too fussy. We're not fussy either by any means. As long as there's no goat cheese, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We put our bags right on the outside under the vet. Is it a vestibule? Vestibule? Vestibule, I think. Uh, under the fly. <laughs> but here we are in our little two man tent. We're about to hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. It's so bright out. It is bright out. But it's a beautiful morning. Um, we've got our coffees made. You've probably seen these in our videos a few times recently. These are collapsible cups. They're awesome. They fold down to barely nothing. They're nice to have, drink our coffee and eat our meals out of. We survived the night. It was quite toasty. We slept in. Yeah. Still love our sleeping bags. We're about to eat some breakfast, pack up, and head out back out on the trail. So we hope you like this video. We had one critter run by the tent. Ashley woke up frantically. Mm -hmm. As per usual, I hear everything. But other than that, uh, you guys get outside and have a good time. So we're taking a little break. We're going to test out the bone broth. Smells good. Gonna give it a stir, let it cool down, and then we'll let you know what that tastes like. I just took a little taste. It's legit. This is the chicken flavor, and it definitely tastes like some bones are boiled. You try it, Chase. Yeah, it tastes like bone broth. <laughs> mm -hmm. 